나 시리 둘이 라지라 오 제니파 오 oh, I'm looking but I got caught Jennifer. So the story behind Jennifer is every single every um every bad woman in a man's life is Jennifer. I'm sorry for the people. Fagilia TV wana fagia news zote. Wana kuletea vitu moto moto. Subscribe to Fagilia TV. Hi people, this is Wanjia Lassa from Empire Group Productions featuring the online media team and with us here we have a young, beautiful, energetic Afro pop music artist all the way from Nigeria and that is none other than Gucci. How are you feeling Gucci? I'm good. I feel good. How's the weather here compared to the one in Nigeria? Ah, it's calm. It's cold. Nigeria is hot. <laughs> oh, right now Nigeria is hot. It's really hot. You, you are in Kenya right now. We'd love to know why did you choose Kenya as the place you're going to perform um, on the 9th? Um, I chose Kenya because the love from Kenya has been really massive. Mm -hmm. This is my first time in Kenya but, uh, but then my social media is always like which you need to be in Kenya and then I get a lot of comments from YouTube saying which you will love you so much and you know I just want to show Kenyans how much I love them too so that's what I mean and that is what is that one thing you love the most about Kenya um their reception like I said earlier um their reception is really nice and what about the food I, I tried I tried <laughs> I tried, I forgot the names of beans and coconuts, um, I tried it, it's, it's not bad, it's nice. Yeah, yeah, and now that you have an event on Saturday the 9th of July, what are you expecting from the Kenyan people? Well, I'm expecting love. Just love? Love, I'm expecting love. Love comes with a lot of things, so love. And during a live concert, there are many things that happen, you know, during on their performing. What's the least thing that's... Okay, what's the least favorite thing that's happened to you when performing? Mm, I almost fell. <laughs> you, you always fell on stage. I, I almost fell, but I didn't fall, thank God. <laughs> yeah. And the most favorite thing? The most favorite thing is the love. You can see it in their faces. They're like, God, I love you, Gucci. That shit gets me crazy. Like, oh, I'm really loved. Yeah. And I want to ask a bit more about your song, Shattered. It's, you know, trending on TikTok. What do you, why do you think it's trending on there? Um, I think because a lot of people can really relate to heartbreak songs. A lot of people um, have gone through heartbreak. So I think that's why it's getting that much love and it's a good song. Are you going to perform it on stage? Definitely. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's nice. Um, on Kenya, there are many artists that you can maybe work with. Is there that one artist that you may, may be um, looking forward to work with? Um, I'm going to be working with a lot of artists this time around because, like I said, the love from Kenya is really nice and one way that you can spread your love through music is having collaboration. So I'm going to be having a few collaborations from Kenya and East Africa this year. And what's the reception on your music in, back in Nigeria? It's really cool. You know, we Nigerians, we love, we love, the, we love the banga, we love the crazy songs, the club songs, and you, you know, me dropping Scatter My Head, Benzema, and you know, other songs have been really crazy in Nigeria. The, 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 the love is also nice in Nigeria. And I'd sort of love to know what maybe inspires the type of music that you release. Um, the things around me, I like to speak to someone when I sing, whether it's a good, whether it's a, a, a love song or ha a happy song. I always like to, you know, be able to communicate with someone. Like the the other song I had, um, scatter my head. I always start with like a storyline. Like correct me if I'm wrong, you know. I to make you tell me what is up. Like what's going on, you know. So I like to always tell a story in my song. Gucci, and I can see you have your, uh, a really, uh, you know, nice style. I'd love to know what, what inspires this type of style and, you know, the purple thing going on. Well, the purple thing, it's a brand, it's a signature, and then it's, it also represents royalty and I'm royal. And basically, you can give the chance to the other people who want to ask any more questions. Um, hi, Gucci. Hi. I'm um, Sam from Dutchman Entertainment. Um, you're saying you're, you're expecting love. Um, first of all, are you single? <laughs> well, um, I'm, I'm, I'm in a very serious relationship with my music, so I'm not single. Um, actually, Kenyans are expecting uh, you and simple boy. Yes. Am I what? You're a simple boy. Am simple, I what? Simple, simple boy. 
if I'm doing what with him? Um, in the past, it's in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And actually, I would like you to meet a simple boy and maybe you can have a thing. Is that, is that how easy it is to have a thing? Uh, it's so <laughs> Is that how easy it is? Well, if it was that easy to have a thing, then I would be having a thing with so many people, you know. So, um, I don't know. Right about now, I'm all about my music and my music. Hi. Yeah. Are you expecting to win? Well, um, everybody is a winner. Um, the fact that I, I was even nominated um, at the first place is a big one for me. So I'm, look, I'm looking forward for the best. If I win, if I don't win, I'm still a winner. Who is Jennifer? <laughs> Who is Jennifer? Okay, so the story behind Jennifer is it, it didn't happen to me. Like I said, I like to tell stories when I sing. And I want to be able to communicate with my fans when I sing. And then I just, you know, thought about it. I was actually fixing my nails when the whole idea came. And then I had to, you know, rush home to record. My sister's name is Jennifer. I was actually trying to, I was listening to the beat. And I was trying to do something. And she was disturbing me. Her name is Jennifer. And then, you know, I got the first line of, um, you say you got me. But I know say you the light you look in your eyes, stop acting funny. And you know when she started disturbing me, I was like, she not because of Jennifer. Now she did do that, did that. Oh Jennifer. Oh I'm looking for a girl called Jennifer. So the story behind Jennifer is every single every um every bad woman in a man's life is Jennifer. I'm sorry for the people that they're Jennifer. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm really sorry, but that's what um actually inspired it. Like Every bad woman or every man snatcher is Jennifer. So any woman that is there to scatter a home or to spoil a relationship is Jennifer. Thank you. Yeah. And about oh, you are an award winning um, artist and mm -hmm. you won the uh, oh, you, you were nominated in the yeah, I was nominated. and you once won the prestigious awards. How yeah. was that for you? Um, I won the prestige award even before Jennifer mm -hmm. and that was really inspiring to me because then I just started and if I could be nominated when nobody even knew the name Gucci then that means I could actually do more so um, that was that was a huge one for me even though it was not so big and basically in your music journey one of the main challenges that you, never, you can say you mainly face um, one of my challenges is being a woman what about it? I, I love that I am a woman, but then people have this, you know, this thing about being a woman. They feel like because you're a woman, you won't go so far. They think you're going you're gonna to break down. They think you're so weak. You know, sometimes when I have um, club appearance and, you know, I am there for a reason. I am there to ginger the club. I'm there to make the club bubble. So why, why would you tell me to sit down? Because I'm a woman. And then I come in and they're like, sit. But if a guy comes in, they're like, yeah. they're hyping. Why would you tell me to sit? I'm here to make, the, to, to make the club fun. So you know, there's this thing about being a woman. They think you're weak. They, they think you're going to give up at some point. That is the, the challenge that I have right now. And I'm really, really going to um, disappoint people because I'm here to stay. I'm here to let them know that women are actually stronger than they think we are. That's on period. Yeah, that's on period. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Talking about being a woman, as an artist, there are a lot of things that come with being a woman. Mm -hmm. Motherhood, marriage, parents, find that female artists, most of them, they either please or just slow down. Mm -hmm. Being a woman. Yeah. Um, 
um, I think there is just this perceptive, um, perceptive, especially in Africa, especially it's everywhere in the world though, but especially in Africa, they think women are supposed to at some point get married and focus on their kids. Forgetting that they actually have a life. Well, for me, I, I think it's all about, you know, proving a point. At some point in my career, I think I would prove a point that would let people know that any woman can be a baby doll, any woman can be a whiskey. So it's up to us, the women, to, you know, prove that point to them. Not let them think we are weak. We are actually not weak. We're actually stronger than the men, you know. You know, there are some things the men cannot do that we can do. And for the women, for you to be in the industry, you have to actually work times four harder than the, man, the men. You know, if it was a guy that sounds uh, maybe um, a Jennifer, maybe he'll be, he'll be like the whiskey right now. Mm -hmm. But because it's a woman, oh, she's a woman. Uh, you know, so it's just for me to, you know, keep proving, um, proving to them that, I can actually do better as a woman. Yeah. And basically, back to the live concert that you're gonna have on Saturday, what are we supposed to expect from you? Well, this will be my first ever concert, mm -hmm. and I'm looking forward to, you know, making it the best concert I'm gonna have. I don't know what to expect from the fans, mm -hmm. but I'm being positive about it. But from my side, expect fire. Uh, Gucci, my name is Donada Kizenda from Express TV. Uh, so my question is, how was your experience working with Ray Bad? How did it impact your music career? Um, working with Ray Bunny was the first international collaboration that I did. And, you know, when Jennifer blew up, I wasn't expecting, you know, it was one of those songs that, I just put, at first I put out a freestyle, and then everybody was like, this song is so cool, you know, and then I had to drop it. And you know one of those songs that you drop, you know it's a good song, personally, yeah? But you, I wasn't expecting, you know, the, the whole love, not just in Nigeria, but in Africa. And then when I got, when Rebani reached out to me, like he wanted to have a collaboration, I was super excited because I had already discussed with my team that I wanted a Swahili vibe on Jennifer and it was just like God working you know and then Ray Bani reached out working with Ray Bani was really interesting because it was also my first time in East Africa yeah it was really interesting we didn't just do the the, the remix for Jennifer we created another song you know it was my first it the, the song Sweets was like the easiest song that I've ever recorded that song didn't even take an hour. It was just, okay, the, the producer just, you know, gave the kick and the snare, and then I just came up with something. So working with Ravani was, you know, really, really interesting. And we actually connected. Yeah. And uh, I'd love to know how, how can, you know, music artists reach you to maybe have a collab with you? Um, I, have, I have a link in my bio. I have a contact. Um, on Instagram, so they can always reach me there. Can maybe share with the people? Um, my Instagram handle is official Gucci. So there is a link, there is an email, and then there is a phone number there that you can use to reach me. Is there any more questions? Um, Gucci, so uh, recently we've been having uh, problems, especially in Kenya music industry. So I would like to, um, to tell me, like, what do you guys do, especially in Nigeria? Uh, how do you promote your music to other countries? How do you how do you make that easy? Because Kenya, we are trying. I can say we are trying. Like, um, how do you market your music to us to uh, other countries? To so the global market. Yeah, like the global market. Um, I guess I guess good a good music is a good music. We didn't push Jennifer. It just went there. It just went everywhere jennifer is that song that you know we didn't really push but it was everywhere so i think good music is good music if you make a good song your song would it will fly on its own and now thank god for social media and thank god for tiktok 
if you put out a good song on TikTok, people would automatically, you know, set the song themselves. And then, you you know, you asked me a question that needs consultancy fee. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you ask the question that needs consultancy fee, you know. You ask the question like, um, what do you guys do to promote your music? Of course, you reach out to um, music promoters, PRs, and you know, your song will be everywhere. If it's a good song. Um, and the other, between Kenya and Tanzania, um, your best. I'm sorry, I love them both. <laughs> Any other question? So guys, that's been it with our beautiful lady from Nigeria. Maybe you can tell them about yeah, a bit more about the concert on Saturday. Um, like I said earlier, the concert is my first ever concert. And I would expect nothing but love. Show me some love. You know, you guys, you've been saying, Gucci, come to Kenya, come to Kenya, we love you here. I'm here now. Show me some love. And I'm going to do my best as an artist to make sure that you are well entertained. And you're going to hear, you're going to listen to good music back to back. And then we have so many other good um, uh, um, celebrities performing. We have um, Willie Paul. We have um, Jovia. We have um, so many other people. So guys, come out and let's have some fun on the 9th of this month. Thank you so much, Gucci, for letting us have your time here. We really Thank you for having me. It. Thank you for having me. Yeah, that's it.